Did you get scared? Well, you should because we're in for a very special Halloween episode with one of my best ghoul friends, Ooh. Erica Clapp. Boo! I oh. scared you. I pee pee. Haunted house. Haunted house. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, everybody. Welcome back to my channel. It's me, Rock'em Sakura, and today I'm here with one of my best friends in the whole entire world, Erica Clash. Erica, the blind, beautiful ghoul bandit from season two of Dracula. You survived hell and high water. Yeah. Throughout your entire year. And that was just getting to Los Angeles. <laughs> we met in San Jose in... This was June or July of 2017, mm -hmm. and I was booked. It was like one of my first bookings in San Francisco at the club. And she introduced mm -hmm. herself and yeah. was really, really sweet. Yeah. Um, and I was like, that really helped me feel so welcome because I was so like new to everything in the Bay Area. Erica was dressed as Pac-Man. Oh yeah, I did do my Pac-Man number that she night. She was fully yellow. She had the Pac-Man eyes and everything. She yeah. has this whole New York mix with whip cracks and everything. She did a death drop during it. It's like about eating and like, she's this tiny thing. And it was really, cause that was me just channeling you anytime you're around dumplings. When I'm around dumplings, I'm channeling you when you're around dick. Oh my God, you guys, I've been so thirsty on this entire tour. We have not been able to get very close to any of our fans, obviously, no. because of social distancing. No. But we've met a lot of really, really cute fans, like, on the road. Has Erica, that been fun? show them your tongue. Ah! I'm See, dating people. myself, okay? The tour is called Erica's Eat, Pray, Love. Because I've been eating lots of uh, brownies. She's been... And praying for a beautiful, beautiful British man. And she and loves loving, to get down. And loving you guys, right? Mm. Mm. <laughs> Half-heartedly. <laughs> Eric and I have been friends for so long, mm -hmm. and the first time that we ever really got close was DragCon. DragCon 2018. 2018. 2018, yeah, that's the year I met Crystal. We shared a room together, and we both found out how fucking insane each of us is. I and bet you're gonna tell the jerking off story, aren't you? <laughs> oh no! It'll get demonetized? Patreon. Oh yeah, put it Hello, everyone. Patreon exclusive, so that wasn't really, um... A really busy year because I was and doing this quarantine and being able to see you yeah. watch tons and tons of drag race and we're drag race fans from like way back so like we pull the deep cut references from like season one two three four like I will always love oh. shoes <laughs> so hard Davenport may you rest in peace ha 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 this has been really really uh, therapeutic for me to be able to spend time with you guys um, for those of you that don't know, I left uh, San Francisco at the end of last year, moved to New York. Um, so I've really, really been in New York the whole pandemic. I haven't been able to see you all at all. Um, so that's been like, I think the best part of quarantine is like getting to like snuggle up in our PJs and, you know, watch bullshit. You know, directly after quarantine, we both got to do um, several different photo sessions with our videographerist, Cash Monet. And that was really awesome to like get our looks really well documented before we even you know, got to start touring. Because we usually broke them in. Well, yeah, because you usually, tore that shit goes. Mm. Get off the airport, get to the hotel, get to the. This time we had like a few days to just kind of rest, sleep off the jet lag, work on our drag. So it was really fun. So, touring in general, yeah. my favorite part is every day you get to see a new batch of people from yeah. a new city. Drag fans yeah. in different environments. Some people are like, well, yeah, yeah, I'm gonna break my own. Yeah, because I love you so much and other people are like, oh, I'm so happy to see you. I love you. You saved my life. And then other folks were just like scared to come up to us at all because they had such anxiety. You know, we have fans that um, like drag performers ourselves, you know, struggle with mental health or anxiety, etc. So like getting to getting to not just share physical space with our fans, but to also help them in those moments when maybe they're nervous to meet us or they're anxious. Um, what's really cool, you know, that just that interaction, that person-to-person -person interaction that you don't get doing digital drag. I think my favorite part was getting people to help me with my bags. <laughs> <laughs> and a lot of it is also like, I never really got to have like a drag husband or like an assistant 
um to help me yeah but um i just want to give like a quick shout out to adam who's like helped out everybody on the tour not just thanks adam. not just rock like he's we've he's helped out jimbo he's helped me out so that's been really awesome i just felt super super well taken care of by the all the staff oh yeah club kids has been really good to us uh one of my favorite parts of the tour was when the person went you should audition for drag race <laughs> oh my god <laughs> They're like, you should get on a show. <laughs> my other favorite part was when I pooped my pants. Well, one of my favorite um, things that I actually wanted to share is uh, this toxic waste candy that one of our fans gave us. Not only did they give us a full thing of candy, but they gave us like all these scripts that they wrote featuring our drag characters. Like it was so, so, so cool. <laughs> and it was so cool that I decided to do a little makeup look. The toxic waste, if you're listening, I love your candy. It's a really, really, really sour candy. Sour candy. Our fans really treated us so well with all these gifts. Favorite candies are Maltesers. Maltesers, Maltesers. sponsor me, girl. It's funny because the American equivalent Whoppers Suck. I I've always hated with a passion. They're really but, bad. But but Maltesers are really really good. Being here. In the UK, I love it. You know, it's great. The foods are amazing. I love pies. Well, well, they. I mean, the food here is amazing, but most of it isn't British food. It's all. It, most of it is like either British Asian food or British Indian food or pies. <laughs> I love you guys in the UK. I love you. Absolutely love you. Y'all need salt, and y'all need pepper, spice. As a Latina, I would say they need hot sauce. Oh, <laughs> Erica. Because we and definitely have been traveling around with our little hot sauce. Yeah. Bottles. Yeah, and barbecue sauce as well. From Aquanetta of the Cheetah Girls fame. She always carried around hot sauce in her purse. Sunday Rose was so good. This, Full fantasy. Yeah, it was delicious. Delicious, delicious. Mm. So one of our fans told us about this uh, word called Skranen. Skranen. C-R-A-N-N-I-N-G, which is when you're like inhaling food when you're really, really hungry. We were properly scranning outside of the properly venue. Properly scranning. Scranning. And they said, oh, you're proper scranning. We got to meet Manchester. Vinegar Strokes and the Vivian here in Manchester, which yeah. is really exciting. Mm -hmm. uh, they were two of my favorites from series one of Drag Race UK. Also, the Vivian was a lot nicer than I thought she was. But she's really, really sweet. The Vivian yeah. was sweet. Yeah. Vinegar was sweet. I was on Davina's podcast. Davina is just like a load of fun. She's just constantly laughing. Makes our next guest, Rock M. Oh, sorry. If you say it wrong, I will end your career and call you a racist. So. <laughs> your move. Being on a stage again for the first time in what, eight, nine months? Like yeah. a real stage and not like yeah. digital in front of a camera was so amazing. All the venues were sold at 25% capacity, everyone apart, no one can clap or scream, but I felt like the biggest celebrity. I could not complain because I was like, I'm just happy I'm getting, yeah. I'm getting booked at a but real place. Going from bedroom queen to like performing on a stage, yeah. completely different ball game. There's so many elements. Yeah. There's something about that light hitting you that makes you just feel like you're the biggest star in the world. Yeah. <laughs> So before Erica moved, we were in a show together called Pastel Gore, and it was a nerdy, campy show. We're still doing Pastel Gore now, we're doing it online, but it was just a small show between four friends yeah. for nerds, and to kind of just get our numbers out there, like the dumbest nerdy stuff we would just put out there. I, I really felt like I wanted a home base from for, for us, like it you was know, your, in, it was in like 2018. Our show. Um, and now it's just going into this whole thing. We started Pastel Gore online, so we were doing that. Um, before the tour. I think the biggest <laughs> surprise about just doing Pastor Gore Erica is that it's her first time like being super close with other drug performers. That almost breaks my heart because... Well, you know, look, I had I had my good friends like in New York, yeah. but did I have sisters that I could like just collaborate with on a, on a regular rolling basis? No. And then as a result of that, you know, getting to spend time with you guys, I just became really close. Um, but what's been really cool about Pastel Gore online is that now like, my best friend in New York, uh, Crimson Kitty, has joined the fold. Mm -hmm. And we have Lisa Frankenstein who joined when I left San Francisco. So we have like a whole New York City to San Francisco like bi-coastal collective going on. And yeah, I'm excited for like the future of that. When I think about drag family, 
I think about Pastel War. Oh, shut up. I do. Aww. I think about all of you guys. I think about you, Erica. You know, the backstage kikis we had. Like, it's just, you know, you build memories of people. Ooh. Erica, I would not have had as much fun as I did if you were not on this tour. Oh, shut up. And I love you. I love you too. And you're my family forever. I love you too. And you're my family as well. And like, I'm, when we're done with this tour, like, I'm legit gonna miss you i really am gonna miss you guys um you know you spend like a day to day with people for a period of time especially people like this you just we just pop off just effortlessly <laughs> um so it's gonna be hard you know going back to the isolation of my room <laughs> yeah but i want you in my life and i love you okay i i, 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 I believe you yeah and rock like i'm so thankful that i know all of you because as we've touched on you know you guys were um such a game changer for me like in terms of you know, getting close with other queens, other performers, getting to collaborate with people. For, for you and I in particular, it's been really interesting because we both met each other pre-TV, pre pre-television yeah. pre, pre opportunities. Mm -hmm. And I feel like we've been able to help each other grow. Like after Dragula, meeting, like being with you guys, that helped me grow. Mm -hmm. You know, then you, you've always said ad nauseum, like how much advice I helped you out with when you did Drag Race. Yeah. And so like, I like to think like I helped you grow and then us doing this tour together, like we're able to just continue that. So, so thank you for being here with, with, with us. Thank you so much, Erica, for being on the channel. Mwah. Mwah, here's to the tour. Thank you guys. Erica, you want to plug? Yeah. So if you have not checked out Boulay Brothers Dragula yet, there is still time. Check out my Instagram, Erica Clash, Erica with a K, Clash with a K. Uh, I'm also on Twitter. I have a YouTube channel. And when we get back from the tour, I'm going to be starting my Twitch and Patreon. So I'm really, really excited to get streaming. Also, please don't forget to watch us on Pastel Gore. <gasps> Pastel Gore Online every third Thursday of the month on Twitch TV dash Cash Money Drag. Perfect. And if you guys like this video, uh, make sure to like, comment down below, subscribe to this channel. Thank you so much to all the patrons on Patreon that made this video possible. If you want to help support this channel, become a patron. Uh, we would really appreciate it. And with that, um, I think we're going to say... Uh, oh, one more thing. What? Okay, yeah. Don't forget to take your Metamucil before you go to bed. <laughs> Can we end this video with our absolute favorite thing to do from Drag Race? Welcome to another Home Fried Meal! Courtesy of Disco Extra!